This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com Interviews. And what I'm looking at today is 2022's Dacian, directed by J.J. Perry. And I'll just put it up front. This is not a great movie. It's not bad, it's certainly watchable, and has its moments, but it's not great. First off, let me go into the story. The story revolves around Bud Jablonski, played by Jamie Foxx. And what he is, well, he used to be a vampire hunter. And the movie has this really interesting dynamic where it's monetized. So these hunters would hunt these vampires, pull the teeth, and depending upon how old the tooth is, indicating how long the vampire has been around, they make money by it. And it's a very John Wickish kind of idea, in the sense that there's a whole ecosystem revolving around vampire hunting. This shouldn't be a surprise because one of the executive producers of Day Shift is Chad Stalinsky, who is the director of John Wick, John Wick 2, John Wick 3, Deadpool 2, who happens to be a stuntman turned director. And J.J. Perry, director of Day Shift, comes from a similar background. So there's a lot of John Wickishness throughout this movie. And that's actually a pretty interesting take on vampirism. The problem, though, is that Day Shift does nothing original. Never mind the similarities to John Wick in terms of the structure I already mentioned. Just in terms of vampire movies, it does nothing original with the idea. It makes them extremely acrobatic. I mean contortionist acrobatic, which is odd. It's a pretty gory movie at times, but the gore is so fantastical that it's not particularly scary or frightening. It's just kind of interesting more than anything else. So, back to what I was saying. But Yablonski, Jamie Foxx's character, is not a member of the Union of Vampire Slayers. Well, I should say the Vampire Slayers Union. And he needs money because his wife is threatening to take his daughter to live in Florida or somewhere other than where he is at that moment. And so he has to get back in the good graces of the head of the Union. Though, Yablonski tends to be very reckless, and so he's not very popular with this guy. And eventually, Dave Franco's character, Seth, enters the picture, who is supposed to keep an eye on Jamie Foxx's character so that he can be fired, because, once again, the head of the union doesn't like him. So it acts like a buddy comedy, too, which doesn't really work because they never really flesh out Dave Franco's character. For me, Dave Franco is always an interesting actor. He's, he has a very singular way of doing things. I find him pretty engaging. But in this context, he's very predictable. And nothing he does comes as a surprise to the viewer. And certainly didn't to me. And he goes on these adventures with Jamie Foxx, and he's eventually turned to a vampire. And the way they play with vampire lore in this movie is just kind of irritating because the things that would normally kill a vampire don't kill Seth when he is turned to a vampire because movie. It's silly. As I said, it has interesting moments, but judged on the whole, it's really not that great. And that's a pity because clearly it has a decent budget. And some of the effects are, as I said, pretty good and interesting. And I know that an actor has been chosen to play Blade already, but Jamie Foxx would have been a very good Blade watching him in this role. Though, Day Shift is just not a great movie. If you're bored and have nothing to do, it's worth watching because it's entertaining. But it's just not very good. And 
most of its problems come down to its story. As I said earlier, another issue is that it's not very original. It just takes ideas from various better vampire movies. In fact, the whole buddy cop dynamic of Seth and Bud very much reminded me of Fright Night. But it worked in Fright Night. While it doesn't work in Day Shift, the reason I think it works so much better in Fright Night is that the relationship between the vampire hunter and the other character's name eludes me right now, that relationship was serious. It wasn't played for comedy, but just the way they reacted to each other made it funny. In the case of Seth and Bud in Day Shift, it seems like they're trying to be funny, and it kind of falls flat more often than not. And the vampires of Fright Night were really scary. And so the humor only came from the two humans, the two vampire hunters, but the vampires were to be taken very seriously. It wasn't played for laughs. In Day Shift, the vampires are never really scary, and it's more about the athleticism of them, which just isn't enjoyable, and frankly, not the reason why I watch vampire movies at all. I don't care how many twists and contortions they can do with their bodies. It's not the point. It's cleverness for cleverness sake. And it just falls flat. And at the end of the day, if you got an hour and a half, check out Day Shift. It's not great. It's well acted. It's not very well written, which is the source of its problems for the most part. Though at the end of the day, its greatest problem is that it's just not particularly scary. But what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com interview. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow.